Creating a color changing brush in Procreate is easier than you think and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it no matter your skill level. Hello beautiful people, it's Genevieve and my goal here on this channel is to teach you all about illustration and design. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly videos and so that you can join our wonderful creative community. Now today's video is a super quick and easy one so we're going to jump straight into it. I personally used the technique to create, as you saw in the intro, a really nice big soft brush with just a little bit of texture to help me create quick background gradients and stuff like that. Now if you do want to check out this brush, it is free, I will link in the description below, you can just download it if you want. But obviously again this technique works for any brush so you can just create your own, that's kind of the point of the video. The first and almost only thing you have to do is go in the brush panel here at the top and picking which brush you want to use. I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't know, in the sketching panel, the 6B pencil. And you are going to duplicate that brush by swiping it towards the left with one finger and then tapping duplicate. Once you've duplicated it, you can just tap on it again and then go in the color dynamic menu here on the left. Now in this menu, there are a lot of options, but the one that is interesting to us is in color pressure right here, the hue. Now if you were to put it at 100%, it's going to create a rainbow brush. So if we click done, I'm just gonna show you what it does. It goes through the rainbow and that depends on the pressure of your pencil. One thing to note is that the intensity of the colors is going to depend on the color you have selected. So if you want a really bright rainbow, you would make sure that your color, whatever the hue is, is really quite saturated and very very bright. That being said, a full-on right bow might not necessarily be the most useful setting, so I personally like to, instead of going with color pressure hue at 100% or well, maximum, I like to go with somewhere between 10 and 20, and that's going to give you some color variation, but as you can see it stays within one range of color. Now one thing that is important to note though is that color pressure obviously work with pressure sensitivity. So if you're painting for example with your finger, it doesn't change color. If your drawing tool doesn't have pressure sensitivity, you can go again in the brush panel, the brush menu I should say, and this time instead of changing the hue in the color pressure, you would go and change the hue in the stamp color jitter. Now this one is going to have a little bit more of a hectic effect, so I would recommend just changing it probably between 15 and 25, uh, but you can test. And then if we tap done and draw a stroke with our finger, you can see that within the stroke there is some color variation. It is not the same kind as here, but still it's a way of making your brush feel a little bit less bland. And that's it! Now you can create as many color changing brushes as you want, which should really help you create super lively illustrations. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more Procreate tips, I highly recommend you check out this playlist. But before you leave, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the weekly videos I post every Tuesday and Saturday. Then click on the link right here and I'll meet you there!